Today I'll be playing Prison Architect, but every five minutes I randomly delete row and column. Set up ten failure conditions, and I will end this as soon as I fail three of them. And I'll be using a random number generator to decide exactly which row and which column to delete. This is using a pre-existing prison which I have not made because I am not talented. Plus, I've only ever played Prison Architect once, which did not go that well. So, I do not have experience on my side. So this is pretty impressive. This is the prison as it begins. We've got about 300 or so inmates with a capacity of 320. We've got around 100 guards with a capacity of 200. A really, really high cash flow, and of course about 700 grand or so. Not too bad at all. Okay, so let's find out what we've got to get rid of. I'll be getting rid of the 27th column, which, just scrolling through it, is not too bad at all. Actually, that's probably the best I could have got. It's literally only walls. That's lucky. We'll also be deleting row 77. We'll see which one that is. Okay, now this one isn't this great. Goes through multiple cells, the showers, some common rooms, some classrooms, the kitchen, the laundry room, <laughs> and it makes an exit straight out of the prison. Not great at all. I'm just making things faster. You can have a shower and go into solitary instantly. I had 100 work people, so this should all be fairly fast. Hardest part of this challenge is just remembering to remove the randomizer. <laughs> Right, okay, they're deleting the first few walls. That is disappearing fast. Instantly there is a huge risk of an escape here. I mean, they can just stroll out the front door if they want to. Uh-oh! Okay, that is an escape. That's one objective fail. This might be quite a short video at this rate. Are we losing power? Oh, okay, I think I may have cut a few power lines. That is also not great. And also my cursor's gone. <laughs> Must have been deleted in the process. Still on positive cash flow. Still have a lot of prisoners, so in general we're not doing too bad at all. I have about one minute to go, and then we're on the next one. Oh, that's 22 escapes. That is not great. And we now have a rising danger level. Uh-oh, that's 50 escapes. Part of this challenge is that I'm not going to allow myself to place anything back, since that would kind of completely defeat the purpose. Okay, that's... um. Five minutes managed, with just 74 escapes. Um, I now have under 100 guards, and I've lost 70 prisoners. We have 50 serious complaints, so um, all in all, I guess okay. <laughs> okay. So this is the second row and column we are going to delete. It's column 54. Just looking at what we're getting rid of, it isn't too bad. This is like two cells we're losing access to. Solitary is now open, so um, maybe not great. Do you think the guards are questioning a few of these decisions? And although this is very devastating, we are removing 10 trees. We'll also be deleting row 36. Okay, that's once again quite a lot gone. Okay, as soon as I start the timer, my game plan this time is to just fit in some objects that I think might entertain them. Maybe that would somehow reduce the chances of people escaping. Okay, and my time starts now. Large TVs are a great choice. I'm hoping that just putting a load of TVs in the corridors might distract them. Unless they're showing friends, that's just torture. Okay, we're on 83 escapes, this isn't working so far. And I had a gravestone? Ooh, this isn't looking good. I think these may have been detained, but maybe there's no way to put them anywhere? Oh, they are patrolling them, it's just there's going to be so many people attempting to escape. As you can just see by the effect the number's gone up, it's going to be difficult to get them. No jack o' lanterns, everyone loves Halloween. Filing cabinets, I'm a cool guy, I love filing cabinets. Ornate lanterns sound pretty fancy. Honestly, I'm just adding things wherever I can fit them. Folding cells could have some sofas. Chandeliers, might as well. Wow, I've never seen an escapes number that high. Okay, yeah, we have had over 100 escapes. This isn't great, but luckily I think we're bringing in new prisoners so fast that we're not going below the half mark. I'd say that, but we're definitely tending towards that. The bookshelves? No, maybe not. Well, I've got a little bit of time left. I'm thinking maybe I could somehow fit a few more comfortable beds around the place. Just outside, if you fancy camping. Placed a load of beds outside in the rain. Hypothermia will definitely cheer them up. At least maybe this is just distracting the workers from taking things apart. Honestly, this is not going too bad. Only about 30 prisoners have serious complaints. Okay, that's 10 minutes managed, not too bad at all. Oh, that's a lot of warning signs. Suddenly it's not looking like things are going too well. So apparently they don't have access to a canteen anymore. Somewhere along the line I've deleted something that's pretty important. Even though the canteen is completely undamaged. Next up is 144. Straight through a few cells. I'm sure they won't mind. 
Just making a prison with nice vibes. Everyone can come and go as they please. This is very narrowly missing all of the power stations. So, so lucky it goes through the middle of them. We'll also be removing row 119. What's going on over here? <laughs> Got a bit confused with the laundry. Chucked a few prisoners in there. Okay, suddenly we're getting rid of the capacitors and power stations. Not that great. I mean, surprisingly, this still does go straight through the other two in the middle. These are some great shots, whoever's doing this. The prison's slowly going to get darker by the minute. I'm thinking that maybe adding more entertainment isn't actually going to keep them in here. So this time I'm going to attempt to create a few guard towers and searchlights, things like that. Um, frighten them and entertain them at the same time. Right, and we're off again. Ignore the fact there's 120 escapes today. <laughs> oh wait, bench is pretty terrifying. We can threaten them with some weights. I'm adding these things, guard pavilions. So far today we've had one escape. Oh dear, I noticed we're on negative daily cash flow. <laughs> So I failed, but I did not notice. Maybe I could cheat and say five objectives and I've completely failed. <laughs> you know what people need in this troubling situation? Nice cactus. Oh, their toilets do not have access to the water mains. That might not be great. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have placed all those guard towers. How much did each of them cost? Well, okay, that was 4,000 per guard pavilion. That might be why we're suddenly in the red. On the bright side, though, we are going up in the number of prisoners. That might not actually be great. It's 50 prisoners with serious complaints now. Oh, okay, no cells have access to water, none of the rooms at all. You gonna do a tunnel search? Well, actually, come to think of it, there's no point of that, they can just walk out. Well, I mean, they found a couple of spoons. I have a feeling that they found them in the kitchen itself. And we found a huge amount of spoons, we bought them immediately. 60 prisoners with serious complaints. Oh dear, it's going up. Maybe I should not have done that. I had a good idea. You know how you might have, like, a relative? who keeps giving you a load of t-shirts that say, like, professional game or work or whatever on the front. Why don't we just get rid of all of those, send them all to the prisons, and that'll give them great new uniforms. Better for the environment as well, uses a t-shirt you'll never use. Next round, let's see what we're getting rid of. Column 31. Oh no, we might add another escape here. Oh no, this gets rid of the bedding area, which is clearly the most unfortunate thing to lose right now. I know the prisoners were enjoying it a lot. I had an interesting thought the other day. What if there's a certain word that people use all the time that has an incredibly rude, awful meaning, but nobody's ever told you? I'm suspicious about the word pastrami. Like, that could mean something awful, but you wouldn't know. I never searched it up, I don't know quite what it is. Maybe it's not a word. Luckily we don't have that awful warden watching over us. Okay, we are also going to get rid of row... Nine. Once again, a very early number. I was about to say that maybe this wouldn't actually cause any damage to the prison and would just go through the fences, but no, it does still go straight through. Just about missing the TVs and sofas. Well, that's a few prisoners' toilets gone. I'm sure they won't mind. Right, this is getting rid of quite a lot this time. I'm hoping we're still going to survive. The plan this time is to create a new garbage zone. <laughs> I just love garbage. And we have started. We make coffin-shaped beds. I'm sure I'll have a couple. Often beds just make great practice. A few of the prisoners here are probably going to be executed someday. Might as well, you know, get a few hours in while you're here. Canteen surprisingly is untouched. The complaints that they can't find the canteen has gone. Maybe they were all just really stupid. <laughs> Couldn't quite figure out how to get out the doors. It's starting to look quite open. I mean, the work people are just straight going out of bounds and back in. Backing all of that garbage outside of the cells will give them a good view. The cells are absolutely destroyed. Sorry for cutting your room in half, we're deleting all of the wall ceilings and installations. Surprisingly, the cash flow is now positive. We're getting 50,000 a day, pretty impressive. We're gonna do a shakedown, maybe this is important. Or oh, 80 prisoners with complaints, shouldn't have done that. Not quite on the maximum danger level, don't worry. Wow, what's going on with these filing cabinets? Now that's pretty impressive. I've never seen filing cabinets stacked so perfectly. These are just for some of the taller prisoners. 86 prisoners with serious complaints. One thinks that they're well treated. Still not sure which. There's always one imbecile who has no clue what's going on. Ooh, 140 have been unnecessarily searched. Maybe that might not look great. If he's not really recognisable as cells anymore. Our prisoners are now going hungry. We're on 95 with serious complaints. We're so, so close to that not very good fail. I mean, I have technically already failed. This entire thing is pretty pointless. We have managed another five minutes. Once again, cash flow is just in the negative. We still have enough cells to keep a good few people in the place. Simple idea, maybe we just work on the flooring. And one other thing I want to do is build a few more power things. The column, which we're going to be deleting next. 105. Only getting rid of that darn canteen. At this point, I don't even care. 
will also be deleting 137 row. Mostly just getting rid of light. Getting very close to failing this, so I'm hoping that this should go well. And there's no way that placing generators in the shower could go wrong. I think the problems with water might be more about supply than anything. This should improve the water supply. Wow, this whole area is still in complete darkness. Wow, they're all going the same way. Oh, maybe storage is a problem. That's a simple thing we could do. This is now our new storage field. <laughs> this might be good. What if we build a few cliff edges? We might have found a bit of a loophole. Didn't say I can't place floors, probably. If I just make a big cliff edge around the side of the prison, since this isn't technically an object, this is just a floor, it should prevent anyone from escaping. We actually have more prisons than we even have acceptable rooms at the moment. Oh, there is one problem though. I need to be very careful that I don't block things off for the guards as well. Okay, we're doing okay. The next column we're going to get rid of, 189. Lucky, um, 189 is not too bad at all. This is just the road. This is going to get rid of these barriers. I see an issue here because as far as I know, prisoners can walk on the roads and I don't think I can realistically replace the floors here. We're also going to get rid of row 101. At least I seem to be getting better at deleting things, which is clearly the most important skill of prison architect. Prisoners are going hungry, suddenly this isn't looking too great. I'm going to do a drug search. I think maybe this also would reduce happiness quite a lot. I mean, at this point I'm practically intentionally ending this early. I'm going to trap them in. Ah. Uh, not the brightest bunch, are they? I reckon it's a challenge, since this has been, in some ways, quite easy. I'm gonna completely get rid of any intake. Wow, there's 1,144 places to search for narcotics. That's a lot. I'll add a couple of morgue slabs, why not? Since I don't think our canteen's the greatest quality, I'll add a couple of dog food bowls. They're cheaper, they are easy to access, and they don't require any staff. Great idea. Maybe a few statues of our wonderful warden will increase respect. This has now been an hour recording. Pretty impressive, I think, to last this long. Which I've entirely done using my amazing skills and intuition. I think we do one last random number. I'll give myself 10 minutes. If I can last that entire thing, I guess I've won. I'm gonna get rid of column 177. I will also be getting rid of row 67. Is it possible to fit like an entire building in nine bin bags? Final time we're doing this. My time starts now. Let's go. Just work on adding simple things, a couple of lights around the place. The prisoners are starving, but that's fine. Oh, oh dear, we've had a death. I believe this is our first death. Or oh, is that my fault? Is that what a free fire does? All of a sudden things are starting not to look too good. Actually, I didn't think this through. Our prisoner capacity, of course, decreases when we get rid of the cell. So, um, we're always going to have above half of the prisoner capacity. Okay, that was a bit of a dumb thing on my part. Two deaths today. Hmm, not great. The route that the workers used to get out shows you just how chaotic this is. Presently not that many with serious complaints. I don't want anything going wrong, so I'm going to do a lockdown. I'm doing a shakedown just in case there's weaponry or something. This is going okay. Surprisingly, I don't think we're going to fail this. I'm absolutely amazed we haven't had any riot yet. Struggling a little to open doors. How can I possibly be in a situation where guards can't enter a building when I've literally cut straight lines from multiple parts of the prison? If this one's rake powered, you just hit it with rakes enough and eventually it opens. Delete the door just for them. Yay! Oh, they're having problems. I'll just get rid of the entire kitchen. I'm just curious what I need to do to fail any objectives. We're on escapes again. Enduring a lockdown as well. Oh, they're just walking out. Uh oh, maybe you shouldn't have got rid of that door. I'm gonna cancel the shakedown, this is just taking too long. It's safe to say we have beaten this challenge, maybe. I need to double check. We did have deaths, so I need to discount that. But above 50% of the prison does still exist. I don't really know what I was doing with that objective. I would have had to do this for hours. We do have under 100 prisoners with serious complaints. Not in debt, we still have 500 grand. There have not been any riots. Never reached maximum danger level. Yeah, I think we have somehow sort of done this. I mean, I know I did say three objectives failed and that's the end, um, but you know, to finish, because I'm unhappy, I'm gonna delete the entire prison, which is an original thing I've never done before. I'm sure this is a good sign that I'm gonna have any success. I've used the exact same outro multiple times within a two week period. One last time, let's say goodbye to our wonderful prison.
That's it, the entire prison gone. You know, I didn't notice until looking back at this recording how gruesome this looks. This feels like the kind of thing I'd get removed from YouTube for. I'm not sure why, it's just all of the red stuff that makes it look weird. Aren't oh, there still prisoners? I'm starting to think that maybe this challenge was too easy for me. <laughs> Quite romantic in a way, nature's taking over again. I think it's a pretty good end for this prison. Bet you that they'd still be sending in new prisoners in a thousand years, even when it's just, you know, an overgrown forest.